automated DNA sequencing. Now we have the idea that in manual sequencing, like uh, in case of chain termination method, uh, the DNA fragments that are uh, variable in their sizes, they are separated on agarose gel and then the separated fragments they are detected by auto radiography so is tarah ki jo manual techniques hain ye automation ke liye work nahi karti uh, because in case of uh, automated process the analysis of dna fragments in real time it is required ke jab uh, dna ke fragments separate hote hain uh, agarose gel mein to uh, at the same time they are also uh, detected so this is the basic uh, uh, procedure in automated DNA uh, sequencing. And here we are uh, uh, using different type of uh, fluorescent dyes uh, to label uh, our dideoxy uh, nucleotide triphosphate. So radio labeled material, uh, they are not used, uh, rather uh, different type of chromogenic materials like the fluoro uh, for they are used to stain the didioxynucleotide triphosphates and suppose here in case of the Sanger method the reactions they are carried out separately in four different reaction uh, mixture and after performing the reaction, uh, reaction then the different fragments that are variable in, in length they are detected by using a specific detector so all the fluorophore they are we are going to use they are different for uh, respective didioxynucleotide triphosphate like adenine it will have uh, different uh, chlorophore uh, and similarly different uh, chemical dyes they will be used for other uh, nucleotide bases uh, so spectrally the the staining regions that we are going to use they will emit different uh, colors that will be detected by using uh, the detector in addition to uh, fluorophore uh, or the staining dyes uh, uh, some specific primers that are labeled with dyes they can also be used uh, now suppose we have performed uh, a reaction which is called as chain termination reaction by using a uh, different labeled uh, fluorophore didioxynucleotide uh, triphosphates uh, then all the four mixture they can be run within the single lane of the gel so four lanes they are not required rather uh, the four mixtures they will be run on the same lane and they will be separated depending upon the length of the uh, dna fragments so detector will detect the mission of different dyes and each mission that uh, have a particular color it will belongs to a particular base pair so in this way by running within the single lane the fragments they can be detected so here different lanes they may contain uh, different samples so more samples can be run within a single slab of the gel so this is one of the advantage of the automated uh, sequencing so this is the block diagram of an automated dna sequencer so it, it is here the slab gel and it contain different lanes and within a single lane one sample can be uh, loaded so four different reaction mixture they are loaded within a single lane that will be separated depending upon the length of the dna fragments and each didioxynucleoside triphosphate it is labeled with its respective fluorophore so it will emit different color that will be detected by the detector so here different samples they are run in their respective lanes so more samples for sequencing can be analyzed and each will be represented by different colors for example different color for adenine and thymine 
it will be I think you will better understand in next diagram that each base it has its own fluoro four. Uh, for example, for the thymine, the color is red. For the guanine, the color is black here. It corresponds to a black peak and green it is for adenine. So different fluorophore are there for their respective dioxy nucleoside triphosphate. So whenever the chain reaction it is terminated, it will be detected on the single lane within the gel. Automated DNA sequencing has several advantages. As I told you that in case of manual sequencing like the chain terminator, uh, the auto radiograph they are produced and even some uh, good laboratories uh, they face problem because the quality of the auto radiograph that is produced it is poor and to uh, read the different segments in comparison with the standard lane of the nucleotide it is uh, difficult. So here one can face problem that uh, the sequence may be read incorrectly. So this is one of the disadvantage of manual sequencing but in case of automated sequencing it is not the problem uh, because there is a machine or detector that can read the sequencing. So we can say that in case of uh, uh, manual sequencing a skilled worker it is required. Whereas on the other hand, another advantage is that in case of automated sequencing, the, all the work it is uh, done by the machine or the detector. Next advantage is that in case of manual sequencing, we may require four different lanes for each, for four different reaction mixture. But this is not the case in automated sequencing because here, all four reaction they can be loaded on a single lane and now there are some sequencer where the capillary tubes they are used that may contain 48 or up to 96 capillary tubes so we can analyze up to 96 samples 96 different samples so that uh, one can analyze thousands of nucleotides uh, within short course of time so these are a few uh, of the advantage of automated DNA sequencing.